I had to break out the seven foot tripod for this video because we're going full body. God help us all. Secondhand shopping. It's a big topic in the media these days, but what is it? Who does it? And how? D um, secondhand shopping. What is it? Who is it? And where is it? Where's it going? Secondhand shopping. You do it, I do it, and that's what this video is about. Me, I do it. Thrifting. Thrifting! Okay? Secondhand shopping is. But who benefits from secondhand shopping? I'll tell you. Secondhand shopping is good for you, it's good for me, it's good for the environment, and most importantly, your wallet. I'm your host, youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Nisi Pisa, and today I'm going to be taking you on a tour of my collection of secondhand clothing. I got a sweater in my mouth. But first, a message from our sponsor, me from a different angle. Hi everyone. I've wanted to make a video about secondhand clothing for quite some time. I personally have been on a very intentional journey to divest from fast fashion to the best of my abilities for the past couple of years. Despite the fun I have with it and the success I have had with it, as you'll see, that's my pile of clothes. <laughs> Thrifting is very inaccessible. There's not a lot of size diversity in thrift stores. Part of the reason I feel like as someone who wears a size 12 women's shoe is like for me personally, I'm not getting rid of my shoes. I wear them until they are not physically shoes anymore, but more so abstract concepts and pleather. I can't sell my shoes. I can't donate my shoes because I wear them until no one can. And I am like that with my clothing too, to a much, much lesser extent. So I can understand why when you have a harder size to find, you don't give it up. The conversation of secondhand shopping versus non-secondhand shopping kind of reaches a lot of dead ends on social media. You have certain sides arguing what I consider to be a very straw man argument. That is, if you are not exclusively buying secondhand or ethically made clothing, you personally are responsible for the devastation of our planet and the degradation of human rights. And you have other people saying, okay, but I'm a size 22 and I would like to own a skirt that looks nice on me. I'm not going to be telling anyone inherently what they should or should not be doing and where they should or should not be buying clothing from. I'm just basically here to brag about how good I am at thrifty. A little bit about my bundy and my sizes before we get into this. As you can see, I'm very tall. I'm 5'11". There used to be a running joke on my channel that I was six feet tall, 5'11 on Tinder. I am devastated to announce that I am actually in real life 5'11", like mathematically, biologically, musculoskeletally. I have really broad shoulders and a giant albatross wingspan, which means long sleeve shirts never go beyond <laughs> my little wristy. I would love to be able to Ariana Grande in 2017 with all of my shirts, but it's just not feasible. I'm also pretty chesty. I did have a breast reduction in the summer of 2018. I think I've experienced some regrowth, but also my boobs are just naturally very saggy, so they take up a lot of space. I have pretty wide hips and very long legs, which means pants. <laughs> pants and I have a very Joker and Batman type relationship. I hate that. I don't thrift pants, you know? I don't even look at them. I'm really flexing my wall art in this video. I'm 29 years old and have nothing framed. Thrifting is hard for me because clothes shopping is hard for me. A lot of times when I go to thrift stores, I strike the hell out. I don't want it to seem like every time I go into a Goodwill or a Buffalo Exchange or the Garment District, I'm from Massachusetts. Or what have you, I'm walking out with bags upon bags upon bags of clothing. This is stuff that's been collected over the course of multiple years from multiple stores. <sighs> okay? I made my bed for you, sons of bitches. Why don't we start with my current outfit? 
This is one of my favorite thrifting triumphs of all time. This is an A New Day dress from Target that I purchased last summer from Buffalo Exchange for an amount of money that was less than it would have been at Target. It is an M slit slip dress, meaning it has a slit on either side below the hip, which I think makes it look very like sensual. And it also gives it a lot of movement when I walk, which I love. This dress looks so nice on me. It's one of those dresses that I put on in the dressing room and immediately had kind of a rom-com moment with myself where I like took my own glasses off and I was like, wow, I am Rachel Lee Cook and I bought it. <laughs> a rule I have with myself is that any time that happens to me in a dressing room, I buy whatever it is that caused the feeling. It's not a great rule. It leads me to spend a lot of money, but fortunately I don't feel it very often. <laughs> my favorite part of this dress is that it's pretty simple. If I'm ever going out to a bar or something in the summer, which is rare. I hate bars, but if I ever do need to throw on something nice to go out, this is like really easy. You might be wondering, how do you deal with under boob sweat, Nisa? You might not have been, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. I can't just put a bandeau on underneath this dress because look at this plunge, look at this plunge. So what I devised last summer was an ingenious trick, right? Take a bandeau and I put it under my boobs. That way it soaks up under boob sweat, but I can still sort of like free boob it and pretend I'm the type of person who doesn't wear a bra, which I am not. Ooh, another fun thing about this is because it has spaghetti straps is I can wear it layered over turtlenecks in the winter, which I did a lot and I do with my other dresses as well. And it's nice because it's a very easy way to winterize a summery outfit, which has nothing to do with thrifting. But you know, we're talking about like, fashion ethics in this video and finding ways to make your outfits work for multiple seasons is a great way to not have to buy a bunch of extra stuff. I bought this blazer at the Garment District last year because I was um, Jules Winfield from Pulp Fiction for Halloween in 2021. The nice thing about this blazer is that it was $17. Let's move on. Next up, we have one of two dresses from The Gap that I've purchased from thrift stores. This is a pretty simple horizontal striped bodycon dress. I like it because of how low it goes in the back. It shows my birthmark. I can't tell which size it would be on. This side. It looks like Alaska a little bit. I can't tell if this is see-through or not. I mean, you can see that I have boobs, but not like, the gritty details. We're gonna do like a little quick change into the second gap dress. One, two, three. <laughs> this is a little racerback gap dress that was five goddamn dollars at Goodwill a couple summers ago. Can you believe? Can you believe? It's just like a simple jersey dress. There's a hole in it somewhere. Girl, it's five dollars. No one cares. You guys didn't tell me the tag was sticking out. You must hate me. The other day when I wore this, I wore it with tights and boots, but also this sweater, girl. After the dress that we started the video in, this lavender sweater is maybe my second favorite thing I've ever bought secondhand. Look at this weave. Look at that little other colors in there. Greens and pinks and oranges and things of that nature. It's so comfy cozy. It hangs exactly how I want it to. I can Ariana Grande with the sleeves to my heart's content. Can you believe that I found this? Whoever brought this to the Buffalo Exchange I went to, I'm not going to say which one. Yeah, you like made my winter. I bought this last fall and I've worn it once a week since. Every time I wear this sweater, it's a good outfit day. And that is something to celebrate. This is one of those dresses that looks better in the mirror than it does on camera. We are gonna have to bear with. And by we, I mean me when I'm editing. Girl, you're fine. You look hot. Also, do you wanna hook up later? I literally know exactly what you want. This is a mod cloth maxi dress that I got at Buffalo Exchange that I never wear, ever. I've never worn this outside. It was a complete impulse buy. I was in a Buffalo exchange striking the hell out in the dressing room. And I really wanted to buy something. It was a hot summer day two summers ago and I had walked all the goddamn hell way there and I was not leaving without something. Not a great practice, not great praxis, but it's still what I did. 
because I believe in radical honesty. <laughs> Jersey, very unforgiving fabric, right? And yet it makes up most of my wardrobe because what it is, is stretchy. Now, I love the print of this dress, and I like the back of it, you know? Birth mark. I just like, don't feel confident in this dress but I'm trying to force myself to. I think I should honestly maybe invest in hypnotism. It's just a lot, you know? There's nothing wrong with it, objectively. There's nothing wrong with how I look in it, subjectively. And yet, you know? I even have perfect earrings that match with it, amazingly. And yet, let's look at something else. This dress is so easy. It looks cool. But it's actually just fabric attached to a collar. But it looks cool. It's incredibly low effort. But the drapery and the way it's cut and the way it moves makes it look so much cooler. I recently wore this last weekend to an ABBA-themed disco. And not for nothing, but one of the security guards pulled me aside at the end of the night and told me that I was the most gorgeous girl there. So we know it works. When I was getting ready for the disco, I was like, I just want to put something on that I can dance and move in that is comfortable. I don't want to, I'm not like 21, you know? Like, I don't want to put something on that I don't enjoy wearing to go dance. I go dancing like once a quarter. I want it to just be like easy and fun. And this makes it easy and fun. This is from Goodwill. The Goodwill that I go to has had their fitting rooms closed and locked since before the pandemic even started. So every time I go in there, which I don't anymore because it's led me to waste some money in the past because I'll eyeball things and take them home and it's like, oh, okay. So my eyeballs don't know what I look like. Awesome. But this was a successful eyeballing. I saw this on the hanger and I was like, that just looks like stretchy fabric attached to a necklace. And it literally is. Isn't that great? Aren't you guys happy for me? I am. That kind of stuff, you know? Not every piece is a triumph. And this one is a prime example of that. This is an express dress that I bought off of ThreadUp to wear on my birthday. And then I didn't do anything on my birthday that would warrant wearing a dress like this, which is good because it is way too short. This happens to me sometimes because as I mentioned at the beginning, I'm 5'11". A lot of things are too short for me and this is not fabric that can be manipulated into being long enough, you know what I mean? Which sucks because it's the cutest color ever. I love green. So I don't really know what to do with it. It still has the tags on it because I was gonna wear it like a month ago and then didn't. So I still just myself. No, you can't make that joke on YouTube. The options are I resell it, I suck it up and just deal with my bits and pieces being out to the wind whenever I wear it, which I'm not going to do. Or I like turn it into a top or something. That might be. A fun little option. I'm wearing opera gloves with it because I was gonna wear the gloves with it on my birthday. And then again, did not do anything on my birthday that you would wear opera gloves to. I spent the first half of the day doing a brand deal and then I went to a sensory deprivation tank session, which is not what they're called. It's float therapy, but I like calling it a sensory deprivation tank because it sounds scarier and more sci-fi. It was fun. It was boring. I'll do it again at some point. It was nice. Salty. <laughs> My body was encrusted in salt afterwards. I felt like a corn chip. So I don't know, failure, despair, desperation, things of that nature. It's really a shame and I'm very disappointed because if this dress were long enough, oh my God, I would never take it off. You know, unless the occasion demanded it. But even in that case, probably still no. I look great if you ignore this. God! My legs are just so long and beautiful. But while we're here, let's see what this dress could look like on me if it were cut for my body. I believe the word you're looking for is ow. This is a $110 Banana Republic dress that I got at Buffalo Exchange for 
I put on the pleasers for this one because I felt like the outfit demanded it. Now, don't worry. I recognize I'm committing a faux pas by wearing shoes indoors right now, but I don't wear these outside. These are walking around the house shoes only. God! Ooh, ooh. I look so hot in this. This is one of the dresses. I put this on in the fitting room and I was like, Holy shit. <laughs> I took a picture of myself in it and sent it to like five different people, my mother included. Oh my god, I just me bitch. I <laughs> this dress did get its time to shine. This is the dress that I wore on New Year's Eve with different shoes, obviously. But I looked amazing. I looked really, really hot and cool, and I was very comfortable all night. I could shimmy, I could shake in this dress. You know, it's all good. Can't believe I got this. I wasn't even gonna try it on. It's like a size large. I don't try on size larges because I know what I'm about. But apparently I don't because it's like amazing. If you're watching this and your last name is Bond, watch out because I'm gonna poison your martini. Look at me! Let me look at myself again. Yeah, let me look at myself from this angle. God damn. Let me look at myself from this angle. God damn. <sighs> yeah, sometimes everything works out for you in your favor. Wouldn't it be so funny if I tripped on these shoes and just ate shit right now? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you guys. <laughs> On the complete opposite end of the spectrum in terms of people seeing me in this dress, being able to see every inch of my body, we have this completely shapeless but incredibly comfortable maxi dress from Zara that I also got at Buffalo Exchange. I wear this all the time. It's cotton, it's really comfortable and breathable in the summer. I can wear a full pair of bicycle shorts under this and so no one can see them so I can walk anywhere. Oh, I raised the tripod because I was wearing stilettos with the other dress, but now I'm not. There we go, now you can't see them. Embroidery, little shapes. This is my favorite summer dress, but I also winterize this one. I wear a turtleneck underneath it, and I put on some leggings and some like high-heeled boots, and it's a winter outfit, and no one can stop me. It's such a triumph. I don't know, sometimes Sometimes you just own things. This is a Mac Studio bodycon dress that my roommate peer pressured me into buying the last time we were at Savers together. Or, um, I don't like, I don't like how I look in this. I think it's bad for my self-esteem having these mirrors here because this mirror I can only see from like here to here. And in this mirror I can only see from here to here, which I feel like <laughs> cutting myself into pieces like this is probably not good for my own self-perception, but it's too late now. They're held on with command strips, so they're gonna be there forever, baby. It's not supposed to be worn off the shoulder like this. It is supposed to be worn like this, but here's the thing. I don't like wearing really short micro sleeves like this because I don't like how my arms look in them. So let me just pull a Venus to Milo. Does the dress look better? What better time than now than to show you another one of the cardigans that I've thrifted. This is an express cardigan that I got at Savers. It's a cardigan. Sleeves actually go to my hands and not midway through my wrists, which is bananas. And something that's fun about those is it can button all the way across my chest. So I can do that thing that people do sometimes where I have my sweater be my shirt. And I think this looks very cute. That's a win. Definitely. The dress, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it will ever see the light of day. Who knows? But let's put on a black dress that I thrifted recently that I don't feel insecure in to the same extent. I'm so sorry for your loss. Here. Right? Don't I just look positively funereal in this? It's perfect! Some. I'm not gonna say that, I don't wanna manifest it. But like, if somebody dies, I'm ready. This fits me like a goddamn glove. This is an Ashley Graham Beyond dress from Savers. It was made to be on my body. 
I wish it was a little shorter, to be honest. I don't like things that hit me at my knees. I just feel like it looks a little matronly. But the top of this girl, oh my god. I look beautiful. I look like effortlessly gorgeous. I look like your mom. Paging Mr. Draper, Mr. Don Draper. Right? The brand of this dress is Tabloid. I bought it from Secondhand Stare. And oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this dress is giving zoo. It's giving bizou. It's giving bizou. This dress is giving moi je joue. This dress is giving laissez tomber les filles. This dress is giving poupée de si ou poupée de son. Attends deux secondes. J'ai quelque chose parfait. <laughs> I feel adorable. <laughs> this, uh, it's not really on my head. Bonjour. 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 Uh-oh. It looks like somebody is a Barbie girl in a Barbie world all of a sudden. Look at this! Is this not the cutest little number? you've ever seen in your miserable life. This is a Mai Tai dress that I also got at Sabres. Bitch, huh? Look at how much it loves being on my body. Look at how much the dress is having a great time being worn by me. This is a party dress. This is a P-A-R-T-Y dress. I think one of my Barbies had a dress like this when I was a child in the late 90s. I feel like it does not show up as cute on camera as it does in real life, which is fine because I have to do with my reflection in mirrors more than I do how I look in videos, so that works for me. I'm gonna wear this to go see the Barbie movie when it's out, I've decided. I'm gonna wear this exactly with, yeah, right? Oh my God, yeah, easy. It's like such a joyful article of clothing. Yellow button up, yellow button up. Yellow like a canary. Little bit too big for me, but it's okay because I want to wear it like over stuff and over bathing suits, and I want to button it and I want to tie it at my waist like an easy breezy 80s movie character. Yeah, and it was like five dollars from Savers. I got it because I used to own a yellow button up from Uniqlo that I got rid of for some reason. I've literally had multiple situations arise where I looked in my closet for the yellow button up from Uniqlo and realized that in my infinite stupidity, I got rid of it. So I bought another one. <laughs> What's that? You're clamoring for more button up shirts? Okay. Like what about this Izod button up that I got at the garment district that has food stains on it and also I've been sleeping in it the past couple of days. No, you want more button ups? Oh my God. You guys are insatiable. What about this peachy pink Laura Dern in Jurassic Park fantasy button up? Also from the garment district. Is that enough button ups for you freaks? What? You want more button? <laughs> you want, okay, I have another one. It's red, you wanna see it? I'm in an extremely goofy mood. I'm not just in a goofy mood. I'm in an extremely goofy mood. My dad's coming to college with me. This one is kind of giving like TLC, you know? Like all silky type. Look at that. I feel very unbreak my heart in this shirt. You know what I mean? Look at these big ass buttons. This is not a casual button up. You know what I mean? Like this is, this is, this is, this is, this is something else. This is a dry clean only shirt. And it will never be dry cleaned. Cause I don't even, I don't, what is dry cleaning? Chemicals? No thanks. When I want to wash my clothes, I bring them to a creek and I spit on them until they're clean. Because if spit didn't have cleaning properties, then why does it have bubbles in it like soap does? Answer that question, Democrats. <laughs> if you're brave enough. Actually, the red is less unbreak my heart and more Spanish guitar. Smoky room, small cafe. They come to watch you play and drink and dance the night away. Yeah. <laughs> Skirts! You know them, you love them. They cover your uchi and your buchi. And they're great at doing it. This is one of the very first things I ever thrifted. I bought this at Goodwill when I was 18, bitch. 
the waistband has stretched out a little bit in the hundreds of years since that happened. Just kidding. It's only been 11. And my favorite thing about this is it has a little tag in the front that says front. <laughs> so you never forget. At the time I bought this when I was a teen, I was very much in a cutting my jeans into jorts, skirts into skorts type phase. And I bought this with the intention of cutting it into a mini skirt. And then I got it home and put it on and I was like, oh, I feel like an elegant lady in this. And I kept it and I've never cut it because I look like an elegant lady in it, so why would I? The next two skirts are both from ThreadUp. Thanks to ThreadUp for sponsoring this portion of the video. No, I'm just, I'm kidding. This is from Lane Bryant and it is giving Lilith Fair. It's giving the craft. You can't even see the bottom. The bottom is like the important part. I'm not gonna stand on that because this is from Target and if I stand on it, girl, it is built to withhold like eight pounds, not 268, so. We're gonna figure out another way. I don't have anything in here I can stand on. All of my furniture is cheap. There we go. Now you can see. Yeah, right? Isn't that awesome? I love this skirt, dude. I feel really hot in it. And I also have this stupid goddamn blouse. Let me show you. This is from Forever 21. I've had it since I was like, I don't know, still a teacher, which is horrifying. Like I had it since before I quit teaching. And it doesn't look good with anything I own except this skirt. Oh my god, I feel so pretty. <laughs> I wore this to class a couple weeks ago for no reason. This is such a done up outfit for me to go sit in a classroom and look at graphs, but I felt nice doing it, so hey. I forgot about this shirt when I was doing button ups. This is a shirt that I got from, I actually don't know, I think Goodwill a couple summers ago that I always want to give like Afropunk and it always gives Tony Soprano. Also the buttons like do not stay shut. Last skirt guys, are you ready? Paging Ms. Frizzle, Miss Valerie Frizzle. <laughs> Did you know her first name was Valerie? I didn't. I thought it was just Ms. Now what business have I in a, in a skirt that's just that's, that's whimsical and fun? This is so cute. The website, ThreadUp, made it look like this was gonna be a mini skirt. I thought it was gonna hit me here. And it hits me at my knees, which I hate, but it's so fun that I don't care. I would have murdered someone for a skirt like this when I was like 22. I wore so many huge long skirts like this because I was a teacher. So I needed something that wasn't too short, but was still fun. And sweetheart, this is fun. Is this not the vibe that I give off? Like, isn't it fun? These are clothespins, by the way, if you couldn't tell. Clothespins. This is my son. This is my little baby man, who I gave birth to. It was a very weird day at Mass General Hospital. They were like, we thought you couldn't have children. And I was like, human children? Octopuses are my favorite aquatic animal. Oh, but I also quite like orcas. I'm a big fan of orcas. I also love harp seals. Baby harp seals are so cute that it doesn't even make logical sense. They look like an animal that would have been dreamed up by a little girl. If you went to your average six-year-old girl and asked her to create an animal out of her imagination, she would be like, um, I, um, I want it to be a puppy that is also a mermaid. And that's just harp seal pups. Like, <laughs> that's what that is. I love the ocean. Those are my skirts. We have two pieces of outerwear. And I saved them for last because they're like amazing. This is a leather coat that I got at Goodwill like five years ago for $40. I stupidly took the shoulder pads out of it right after I bought it, which I don't think I would have done if I got it now. It's giving a little sausagey when I actually button it. I usually wear it open and I feel very like cool and awesome when I do that. So that's great. But really what we're here to see is not this. But this, this is a JG Hook raincoat that I got at Savers last November for $17. I love it! Girl, this hits my ankles! Can you imagine? Can you believe that I found this secondhand? Are you serious? I feel like Inspector Gadget when I wear this. Oh, I love it. The entire reason I wanted to make this video was to brag about how beautiful this coat is. And now I have, so the video can end and I can finally die. Thank you so much for watching this incredibly self-indulgent and braggadocious video. I'm very, aw I'm aware of how privileged and 
I'm aware of the position of privilege that I am in that has allowed me to thrift with such success and aplomb throughout my life. And I'm very grateful for it. Thank you so much for watching my video, but before you leave, I'm going to need you to do a quick favor for me. If you could go ahead and have an amazing day for me, that would be very stylish. And if you would like to follow me on websites where I am more active, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok at Nisi Pisa. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to use code Nisi Pisa for 10% off at checkout at your local thrift store. <laughs> Bye.